Dude, it is so bright out here. Oh my gosh, look at that. So I recently discovered something I think y'all should know. Yeah, they don't make that tent. Attention people of Bikini Bottom, you have been cheated and lied to. I knew it. Now you're probably wondering like, why would I listen to this guy? This is the other bro with a rooftop tent. <laughs> I've taken this thing over 10,000 miles, 23 states. I've seen Joe Dirt. I know what a Boeing bomb is. There's no way that's a rock. That's a big old pile of poopy. I had this thing for a year. I cut the bottom out, I glued it on top, and bolted it on my vehicle. I've popped this thing, slept in it over a hundred times, popped it hundreds. If there's anyone opinion about this dent and has tested it out, it's me. How do you make them? Because all the DIYs on YouTube, out of wood, made out of other material, I want to make one like that. And I ran into a bunch of problems. And I figured out a lot of stuff. You were being lied to and deceived. I knew it. Yeah, they don't make that tent. You cab, I camper. There's a reason why they all look the same, and uh, I think you guys should know something because I learned something new. Uh, just stay tuned. Just let's get into it. Sorry, right, guys. I got the CVT tent. It's right there. <sighs> Give me that huge ass box. This is like 4,000, well it's listed for $3,500, it's supposed to be, but I got for $1,500 from CVT. I'm going to be cutting a hole in my roof in the Forerunner and cutting a hole in this really nice CVT tent and mounting it to the top. Welcome. Do the troopy runner. There's a ton of forerunners. There's more forerunners than land cruisers. They're cheaper. You can make a pop top for this, and then people could cut it out themselves, and you can make a fortune. I mean, it's uh, yeah. This is literally one of those tents off of Amazon that I showed you, and or CBT or wherever. The same thing. <laughs> thing. This plate alone. This plate. That's this one right here. This thing's 500 bucks. This is honeycomb aluminum. It's aluminum that's stacked like that. There's little honeycomb pieces. I'll show you over there. But this is why you can't build these. Is because this and this piece alone is 500. And then all these pieces, you're like, you know, I mean, uh, you know, they should sell these. No, 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 no. They have them. I'm in China, though. <clears throat> like, call any of these companies. CBT, Free Spirit. Um, IU Cab, all these companies that make these. And be like, hey, can I just get the fabric? No. <laughs> and if they do, it's because they have an extra tent that broke. So they have the extra fabric. But the fact is, they're getting them for so cheap that they could just replace the whole thing. My focus, ah! <laughs> all right, so, I'm at the parents' house in Washington. Honestly, man, I didn't film a lot of it. Sometimes in life, a lot of the time for me, <laughs> um, I just, I get in a rut, let's say. That, that's just what happens in life, you know? And, and sometimes to break those ruts, we have to leave and go somewhere. Okay, that's... And it was getting cold, man. You kidding me? I'm trying to sleep out of my forerunner with my pop top. Man, it's getting cold. But uh, <laughs> I did some, some research last night. I went down this rabbit hole, man. This, this rabbit hole. Yes, I was watching Ancient Aliens at the time, but that's not the rabbit hole I was going down. I was, wa I want to build a rooftop tent. I want to build one, and uh, because I love, I love mine, dude, to a certain extent, um, but I want to do some new designs. I want to, 
you know, just re-flipped the book and I noticed as I went to the Send On Bend, the Overland Expo, uh, and I saw all the rooftop tents. I've seen everyone's rooftop tents and I'm just like, okay, they all look the same. So where can you buy the parts? And I've been looking everywhere, everywhere. And just the aluminum on the bottom, that one inch thick honeycomb aluminum is $500. Just that offline, okay? And you get top of mind, that's $1,000 right there. And I'm just like, how are these companies on Amazon selling this thing for 1,500 bucks? Is it a really junk tent? It, but it looks the same build. And then I've seen them and they are the same build. And I'm just like, okay, what's going on? Because look, CVT tent, really nice, right? $3,000, right? Up to 20% off, okay, right? What is it though? Because that, my friend, looks like the same tent. Hmm, that looks familiar. This is Al Cab. They have their tent on here somewhere. Like just their tent. Oh look. Doesn't that look familiar? Is that an earth roamer? Now we're talking about just this cab, okay? Just this cab's ten grand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they slap it on the back of an F550 and they sell this thing for four hundred and fifty to five hundred thousand dollars. That, my friends, look, Sunstream, you are being deceived and lied to. And this goes back on the back of a Mercedes. Um, they're all it's like it's like having like ten different candy products, and you're like, these all taste and look the same. And then eventually you find out they're all made by Walmart. And you're like, oh my gosh, all these are made by Walmart? And they're charging three times as much? Oh, so no one's actually building these. They're just putting their brand on them. That's why they don't have really warranties. You know, let's say they give a warranty, they just give you a new tent. Some people play video games. Some people build cool stuff. But look, the bottom line is, Camtech makes a top that would almost fit a foreigner. The thing is, there's more foreigners out there, they're cheaper, and they're debatable, more reliable than uh, like the Lexus 470s. But the bottom line is, if you look at their tops and how they're made, they're crap. Camtech, Camtech <clears throat> they make these tops for Lexuses, which are smaller than these foreigners. And they sell them for $8,500. <laughs> and that's not counting the install. That's just counting the top. And I look at the top, it's not nice. You're talking thin aluminum. You can tell where they actually weld it and stuff like that. Because it's not it's not thick. You can't stand on it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I could build something way better for literally half the price. I could, And I could literally put it on the vehicle and sell it. I want to make this for Forerunners. And I'm gonna make it. And it's gonna be a process. And instead of being a car dealer, I used to work for Lyft, yeah, for like three weeks. I'm sorry, but if you're making 12 grand a month starting out for a company, and if you don't make 12 grand, you're fired, you're probably doing something suspicious or wrong. So I quit, <laughs> okay, so I can sleep at night. But to open up a dealership and to sell overland stuff, not just catering for the rich? Be the Robin Hood of car salesman, man. <laughs> you know, it's just, I want people to travel. I want people to have cool stuff and you don't need $100,000 to do it. Especially if you've seen the websites that I have seen, man. <laughs> I can, an Earth Roamer, you could build for under 100,000, literally. And these guys are charging four hundred thousand. I'm. Sorry. 
This is literally held up by a net on the roof. So get me some slack. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't have a cameraman. Or woman. So these are going on the sides, right? And these are gonna be, oh, it's gonna hold quite a bit of weight. These are strong. You know what's nice is like you can put a chair right here, let's say. A chair fits in here. Um, and you can put one of these tables right here. And you can just I made this thing. I'm gonna do a full video on this later, but I made this thing so you can travel in it and you can pull up to a Walmart parking lot and do everything you need in and still have the pop the top down. Pretty freaking cool, right? This is gonna be for sale. I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna start my next builds. They're gonna be super freaking cool and fun. But um, I wanna make more of these. Because who doesn't want a pop top forerunner? It's the coolest thing, dude. It's the bee's knees. It's so freaking cool. I have no idea how to explain to you how cool this is. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna be building these and selling them. I literally took this thing 10,000 miles. Tested it out, made sure it didn't leak. Four wheeled the crap out of it. Hit many of curbs. Bam! Bam! This thing's solid. <laughs> and now I want to make one better. And then better. And better. And better. And better. So, this is number one. OG. Troopy Runner. Stay tuned. More to come. <laughs> Your head's like right out of the. It's like either. Pop goes the Sick, it's in the freaking Troopy Runner. You have fucking dead coffee. Suspicious nature, my friend. Thank you, thank you. But it's dead. You what would you rate it, you think? If it will set your mind to eat. I already told you 9 out of 10, but if it's in the woods, then it's just like a 10 out of 10 because you're in the woods. <laughs> Boom, <laughs> baby! You heard it That's yourself. It. You heard it yourself. Awesome. Look at that. There she is.